John Scott Redd was born to Mary and John in Sydney, Iowa on September 10, 1944. Having several family members that served in World War II, Scott had a strong interest in a military career. At the Naval Academy, Scott was a scholar and a leader. He commanded the Drum and Bugle Corps and graduated second in his class with a dual major in mathematics and physics. The lucky bag noted his drive to do a job just a little bit better than the next fellow. Scotty and the Navy have many fine and mutually rewarding years ahead of them, an accurate prediction of Scott's career. After graduation in 1966, he studied for a year as a Fulbright Scholar in Uruguay and went to sea serving in destroyers and frigates. In 1981, he took command of USS King, the first of five command tours at sea. Under his command, King won the Battle E and the Marjorie Starrett Battleship Fund Award as the top cruiser destroyer in the Atlantic Fleet. After proving his proficiency in command of Destroyer Squadron 36, Scott was selected for flag rank in 1987, the first in his class. His first flag assignment was Commander Standing Naval Force Atlantic, the first American flag officer to hold that position. In March of 1991, Rear Admiral Red was assigned as Commander of Cruiser Destroyer Group 12 and the Eisenhower Battle Group, the first carrier battle group to deploy to the Middle East after Operation Desert Storm. After earning his third star, Scott returned to sea as Commander U.S. Naval Forces Central Command, where he proposed, commissioned, and commanded 5th Fleet, the Navy's first and newest fleet since World War II. Ashore, Scott served in several high-profile policy assignments in the Pentagon. In his final assignment as Director of Strategic Plans and Policy for the Joint Staff, Scott represented the military in National Security Council meetings and was responsible for development of the new national military strategy for the 21st century. During his distinguished career, Scott was awarded three Defense Distinguished Service Medals, two Navy Distinguished Service Medals, and the National Intelligence Distinguished Service Medal, among other awards. After retirement in 1998, Scott became chairman, CEO, and president of NetSchools Corporation, a company on the leading edge of education technology. In February of 2004, he went to Baghdad as deputy administrator and chief operating officer of the Coalition Provisional Authority governing Iraq. In May, he returned to Washington to serve as executive director of the Presidential Commission on Weapons of Mass Destruction. The Commission's report in 2005 became the President's blueprint for reforming the U.S. intelligence community. In June 2005, President George W. Bush selected Scott to serve as the first Senate-confirmed director of the National Counterterrorism Center. In that job, he was responsible for writing the nation's first war plan for the global war on terror. As one of his last official acts in office, President Bush presented Scott with the Presidential National Security Medal, only the 83rd award in its 60-year history. Scott has selflessly volunteered his time to several nonprofit organizations, serving on governing boards for the Officers Christian Fellowship, Military Ministry, and the Reformed Theological Seminary. In support of the Academy, he has served as President of his class, Alumni Association Trustee, Distinguished Graduate Award Selection Committee member from 2009 to 2011, and a Forrestal Lecturer. Scott and his wife Donna currently reside in McLean, Virginia. They have three married children and nine grandchildren. Looking back on his career, Scott describes his most meaningful accomplishment as starting up and leading two organizations that remain central to U.S. national security, the Navy's Fifth Fleet and the National Counterterrorism Center. The Honorable John Scott Redd, a leader at the highest levels of command, citizenship, and government, whose exceptional character distinguishes him among many.